So now we're going to talk a little bit about starting your multi-tower switching kit up. What we have here is a representation of the unit itself along with multiple cooling towers with lights representing the valves, the green being the valve open, the reds being the valves closed. So when you get your unit, it will be pre-programmed for the basic information with, with the program in it. it is, you will have to go through it, put in your information based on the number of towers you have, how long you want to run. Basic startup we'll start with is the on-off switch. This is your power. The second thing here, second switch here is what we call the timed or continuous function. Now let me explain a little bit about what that means. A timed function is based on time. So this, this Zelio relay allows you to program, say, you want the towers, the sweeper to run from 8 a.m. in the morning to 5 at night and then turn off until the next day. That's what the time function will allow you to do. It will give, allow you to program a time that the unit is running and then it will shut off until the next day or after, depending on when you want it to come on next. The other function we have is continuous. In this mode, once you set how, many, how long you want the towers to run for or each tower to be swept, it will continue to run. It will not stop. It will run 24-7 through the cycles and it will not turn off. So just keep that in mind when you're doing this and programming it. So let's go ahead and just turn this on here and take a look at the display. We're going to leave it in continuous for now. When you get this and you turn it on, it will require you to do some basic programming such as setting the time and the date. You'll need to set the number of towers that you have, the duration of how long you want to run. If you want to run timed or continuous, you will set times based on that. And then also, if you only have, if you want to skip a tower, once you get everything set up, we'll show you how to do that as well. Again, you can see here the power light is on. You can see here right now we are on tower one. The inlet and the outlet valves are open. The other towers are red, which means they're closed. So now we're going to go into a little more detail on how to set up your controller. These are going to be very basic instructions as far as how to set the tower, and I'll provide some of the additional information explaining some of the other nomenclature. So what we're going to do here first, this is going to be your general display here. It's going to tell you line number one will be which tower is on and running. It'll tell you how much time is left on that tower. And then here, this below it is just the towers, numbers of towers. And if you have these digits right here, we'll simply shut off which towers or tell which towers are shut off to which ones are operating. In this case, with them all being zeros, that means all the towers are operating. They're not shut down, so they will cycle through. So to go to our basic training and say we want to set up which towers we're going to use and a time. So we're going to go push the white button here and then the green, and that's going to go to what we call our parameter screen and our run stop. The two main here to pay attention to is our parameters and run and stop. Run and stop means in run position, the program is running. If you stop it, it's going to stop and it will not cycle through like it will run it, like it normally does until you start running it again. So with it blinking, you can again, you can go, these have up and down arrows, you can go to these different things. But these are the two that are the main ones we use is the run and stop and the parameters. So once you go, you see parameters is blinking. You push the green button here. It's going to give you several pieces of information. The first thing it's going to do, it's going to give you a time program. It's going to give you a number here. And then this third row, these are the number of weeks. So one, two, three, four, five. It has a maximum of five weeks to run. And then it'll start again. And then the 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 represent days. So let's say you wanted to turn off, you only wanted it to run certain days. These numbers represent those days. The next number below is the on time, and that is being used in the timed function. So that is what we talked about being if you want it to turn on at 8 o'clock in the morning, that's where you would set that time at to come on. And as long as you're in the timed function, 
it would come on at 8 o'clock. You would set your, if you wanted to run till 8 to 5, then how many ever towers you had, if you had, let's say, 4, you'd take 8 hours divided by 4, and you'd put that time into each tower, and at 5 o'clock it would shut off and not start until 8 a.m. the next day. So let's go to programming a tower. So what we're going to do is with the light blinking up, with the, with the display blinking up at the top, we're going to go up arrow. 048 is tower 1. We click up again. 049 would be tower 2. Click up again. 050 is tower 3. And lastly, click up one more time. 051 is tower 4. So what you want to do is once that's blinking, let's say you're on tower 1, you want to run tower 1 for, let's say, 2 hours, which would be in minutes, would be 120 minutes. Then we simply move the arrow up and down, you can hold it. And you're going to put, for 2 hours, you're going to put 120. So there we have it set at 120. That's 120 minutes, so that means we're going to run Tower 1 for 2 hours, 120 minutes. <clears throat> then we're going to press the green button. And it's going to say you want to confirm your changes. We're going to press the green button again. So that's going to take us, so that means it's confirmed. Then we're going to go back out. We're going to go left arrow out, back up to this number 048. We want to go to Tower 2. Program that the same. We would basically go up button to 49. That's Tower 2. Again, we would go over to the time here. You would basically set that for the same number, confirm your changes, and then go back out. Once you have all that completed, then you would press the white button, go back out, and then that would be your tower should be set to run. And it should tell you when you get on here that you have on tower one that you have 120 minutes to run, and then that will start to, to count down. So if I go push this here, I'm going to bypass tower four. So you can see here now, it says on the display 120 minutes for tower one. So that's what it'll run before it switches over. If you, want to take, if you want to take a unit offline, very simple to do. Let's say of your towers, let's say you have to do some maintenance on tower three and you don't want that tower running, you're going to drain the water out of it. It's not going to have any water in it. Simply come here, you go over to the fourth button, third button, and you hit that. And what it's going to show you, it'll show you a number three in the display, in the lower display. That means that tower is shut off until you take that off. So what you'll see here, if you look at the green lights, tower one is running right now. If I close off tower one, now tower two is running. Close off tower two, it bypassed three and went straight to four. So three is closed, it will not operate until you take it back off with the button like this. So again, when you see all zeros there, that means all towers are open, all towers are going to run. So that's the basic programming of it. Again, on a timed, just to go reiterate on the time function, that would be like a setup that you wanted to run eight to five or eight to six or however long you want to run it. You said you divide the number of towers you have by that time, plug in that time frame into each tower, and then it would start, say, at five, 8 o'clock in the morning, and it would run to 5, it would run, cycle through the towers, shut off, start up the next day. On the continuous, once you set that time in, it's just going to continuously run. So there is no, like, 8 a.m. start or 5, 8, 5 to 5 p.m. It's just, if you tell it to run for 4 hours, it's going to run 4 hours, switch, 4 hours, switch, 4 hours, switch, and it will just keep going that way under the continuous.